there will always be people who gain power, wealth, privilege, etc., through behaving in appalling ways and through using all of those things I just spoke about. The reason I think you need to read and think about some of the work that that comes out in the book The Paradox of Power is that if you are wanting as a business leader to actually operate differently, to run your business in a way that can continue to grow and have a positive impact in the world and create a win-win, then you need to understand how we do actually gain and maintain power. And I think that uh, Keltner's work is important here. When I looked at his components of the, the 20 power principles, one of the pieces that I then did was pull apart, okay, rather than just look at them as a list... What do they tell us in terms of this aspect of if we know that we do actually want to be in a a position of power and we want to be able to maintain that in a business setting, how do you do that well? So we want to move away from the misunderstandings of power and move into a healthy place. What would that look like? So when I map those things and pulled out his list, I then kind of came up with these two columns. One, which was the the aspects out of his list that I pulled into of the things that we need to foster or um, you know, cultivate in our practice as a business leader if we want to actually gain and maintain power. And then a column which I put at the top of it, beware, like what are the things we have to beware of? We need to be careful and, and make sure we don't fall into the trap or what he calls uh, that aspect of the paradox of power, the things that can end up working against us. So let me just talk to you about the key things that I put in each of those categories or columns because when you think about shifting into a more accurate and a more healthy concept of power, these are things I would love for you to take into consideration. So in the foster column, the things that I want you to cultivate, focus on and and foster in your own practice as a leader if you want to gain and maintain power. The pieces there are around empathy, giving, expressing gratitude, telling stories that unite and empowering others in social networks. Just sit with that list for a moment. This is what the research shows you need to foster and cultivate if you want to gain and maintain power. They are all things that are certainly not the worst of humanity. I would say they're some of the best. They're behaviours and practices that, that you can be proud of. I'm going to say them again because, again, I think they are counterintuitive. They are not what we naturally think about when we think about someone trying to gain and maintain power. So we behave badly, we see business leaders behaving badly when they have misunderstood power. Here's what you need to foster. I'm going to read them again because they're important. You need to foster empathy, giving, expressing gratitude, telling stories that unite and empowering others in social networks. 